Hello everyone, I'm Atakan Agin from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering and I have some issues to tell you today. As I live in outside of the campus, getting here from home is the most painful part in the school for me. I travel approximately two hours every day and that's exhausting. Now some of you may say that's a small problem, but let's consider this. I'm a football fan, I, I love football and my favorite team, Gençler Birliği, as an away game this afternoon, this weekend, in Gaziantep. And if I wanted to go there and support my team, that would be an 8 hour trip by bus and another 8 hour to come back home and that's a total of 16 hours lost in my life. I sometimes wish teleportation would exist. And someone else thought like me and start designed a new project, a new and very fast type of transportation. Everyone, I'm going to tell you about the Hyperloop project, about how fast it is going to be and for what cost. But first, let's start, what is Hyperloop? Hyperloop is a new way of passenger and cargo transportation system that uses a pod-like vehicles through a near vacuum tube. But how does it work? These pods accelerates gradually by using linear electric motors and hovers above the track using magnetic levitation that, that which is used in maglev trains and these vacuum tubes could be built above the ground or under the ground by design and it is hoped that this project would be very energy sufficient and very quiet okay now let's talk about what, what, how this project works, how it will affect us. I mentioned that it was fast, remember? But how fast? Faster than a plane, maybe? Yes. It is planned to travel with average speed of 900 km per hour and accelerates 0 to 900 with only less than a minute. Imagine, if we have that technology right now, I, I will go and support my team with only just a 40 minute trip. And that's what this pro project's main goal. In 2016, the president of engineering, Josh Giegel, says, with that project, you won't have to think about go going somewhere. You just think about being there. And added that they don't sell cars, they don't sell boats, planes or trains, no. They don't sell transportation. They sell time. Of course, this project first designed in the United States and their first route is from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Now let's consider this. If you wanted to travel Los Angeles to San Francisco, it would be take it would take seven hours by bus, six hours by car, and approximately two hours by plane. And this project plans to cut down this travel time into a into 30 minutes and another thing I should point out that with this project we won't have to uh, waste time on stops and it won't delay due to weather conditions because it relies on an environment that is artificially created that's are the vacuum tubes okay I've talked about they, pro they project how, about how, they how they sell time, but for what cost? With this futuristic design, and with that enables us a very fast way of transportation, it seems to be very expensive, but is it? When Elon Musk in 2013 published the first design on SpaceX, he did not mention the ticket price, but he said the estimated cost of total project is about 6 to 10 billion dollars. That seems very high, but for comparison, let's see this. For a, an estimated cost of a Boeing 787 Dreamliner airplane is about 32 billion dollars. But what about the ticket price? Mohammed Imran, in his article published in 2016 on International Journal of Engineering Research, says if they, if they traveled 7.4 million people over 20 years, 
with the cost of six billion dollars, it will give us an approximate price of a of ticket of twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is great, actually, more than a great price for this ki kind of transportation. Because if you want to travel San Francisco to Los Angeles by an airplane, it would cost you one hundred fifty dollars approximately. And today, I've talked about a new kind of transportation that reduces the time we waste on transportation. And in this, nowadays, our world and our technology improves very fast. Time is our most important resource. And with the help of this Hyperloop project, we can use this source more efficiently. Thank you, everyone. If you have any questions, I would be glad to answer them. And by the way, you can see my references.